Hey Jesus Squad, welcome back to the episode of Is an Orphan. So today's episode we got this cool amazement right here and basically what these are are some vacuum sealer bags. So you see we have two of them right here from two different brands. One of them is from the brand called We Vac, and the other one right here is called Avid Armor. So the one that I've been using all the time is from this brand right here. I never tested this one before, so I'm gonna test out both of them to show you guys what it looks like. But you see on the package right here for both of them, they tell you guys how it's food safe, BPA free, it's also dishwasher safe, microwave safe, and freezer safe as well. So definitely once you guys use like a vacuum sealer to actually seal like your product inside, it will definitely keep the freshness inside and that will prevent any water from getting in if you guys are planning to do like sous vide cooking or whatever. And basically for both of these right here is 8 by 12 and for each one of these actually come with 100. So 100 in this one and 100 in this one right here. Let me actually open both of them to show you guys what it actually looks like. Alright, so when you guys take out this one right here, this is from the Avid Armor brand. And you see this side right here is more like a smooth side. So if you guys want to write something on here and label it, you can definitely do it on this side. Whereas for the back side right here, it feels a little bit more rougher because the material is a little bit different. So definitely when you guys put the product inside, you guys want to make sure this side is in the front. So that way you can see everything inside. Because the other side right here, you won't be able to see anything. But when you guys open up the bag and put something inside, this is what it looks like inside. So this one is from the Avid Armor brand. Let me show you the other one. Alright. So here we have the other one from the VBAC brand. And you see they do have the brand logo right here. And they do give you guys an option right here to actually label your content and the date you guys put it in. And tell you guys how you guys can definitely put in microwave, a freezer, refrigerator, and sous vide as well. But basically you can see the way how to design it is very similar. The front part right here is a clear design. Whereas the back part right here is like a more rougher design. So definitely when you guys put your stuff inside, this will actually look like from the front. And this will actually look like in the back. So then see how the other side is actually much more clearer. And definitely one thing I notice on this bag right here is the fact that they have this option right here. So that way, if you guys want to queue open the bag, you definitely have the option on here. Whereas for the other one right here, when the Avid Armor brand, it doesn't have that option for you guys. So you do need to use a scissor to actually open up. So that is basically a side-by-side -side comparison between both of these right here to show you guys the difference. Let me actually go test both of them out to show you guys what it actually looks like and how it works. And then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. All right, so right here we have both vacuum bags right here. So right here we have the VVAC and then right here we do have the Avid Armor. So definitely when you guys look at it side by side, you can definitely see the difference on here. But basically right here I do have some like frozen fish balls and fish cakes. So I'm going to put one of them in one bag and the other one in this bag. So that way we can vacuum seal it. And basically for this test, I'm going to use the vacuum seal right here from this brand right here, Anova. So let's open this up and test it out. Alright, so once you guys got it in, we can start vacuum sealing it. So we're gonna open it up, put this inside right here, and then once you have the set, you have to close it, press it on both sides, and press the switch right here to activate it. Alright, so we're all done. Let's take it out. So once we take it out, you can definitely see the product on here definitely does work. So that is the first bag. Now let's test out this one right here. You can see this bag is also very spacious as well, but we have less balls in here compared to this one. But let's vacuum seal it. So you just want to put it in right here, close it up. Make sure it snaps in on both sides. Once you guys do that, you have to press the button again. Alright, so you guys are all set. So let's take it out. So once you guys take it out, you can definitely see how the product is vacuum sealed so that way nothing can come out and that way it also keep the freshness of the product as well so regardless of which one I get they both work really really well and welcome back guys so nice little quick test the product definitely actually does work and it works quite well so definitely regardless of which one I get that is up to you guys for me honestly i do prefer the one from the vvac brand because they have a lot more available for you guys in terms of the different labeling option for content date and also that easy peel option on the corner that is actually really cool and very convenient as well. But definitely both bags work the same way. It is BPA free like I mentioned. You can definitely put in microwave. You can definitely put in freezer. You can definitely put in freezer as well. And you can also do your V using the bag. And definitely the material that they use on the bag right here is super strong. So you don't have to worry about any leakage or anything. As long as you guys use the correct vacuum sealer, then you should be fine. But that is basically everything that's on the bag right here. Now to come boxing and test them product. Not that any question of whether or not it's actually worth or not. So for both of these products right here, I would definitely have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want one or need one of these. Especially if you guys want like marinate stuff or to do V. Or if you guys want to keep your product fresh, then definitely getting one of these bags right here is actually really worth it. 
But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else you actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.